بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الأمين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين سيد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله عليه وسلم Good morning grade 6 Today we're going to revise the principal parts of regular verbs We're going to do it together through this video The four basic forms of a verb are called the principal parts of the verb Now I'm going to have Yahya Aweda saying but teacher, it's too easy. There is nothing which is too easy. Okay? We have to revise again and again. The four principal parts of a verb are the present, the present participle, the past, and the past participle. Please, pause my video here. Think about the four kinds. Tell yourself what is the first kind, the, the second kind, the, four, the third kind, and the fourth kind. Then, let's move on. Here, as you can see, when we talk about the present participle, we are talking about a verb that ends in ing. Of course, I'm talking about the main verb. I'm not talking about the helping verb, okay? And the past, of course, we are, we are talking about two kinds of verbs in the simple past. We are talking about regular verbs, which end in ed, and irregular verbs, which uh, uh, they have to be uh, like learned by heart, okay? Because they don't have a pattern, they don't have a rule. Then the past participle, if you have a regular verb, just like the case of start here, it's going to be started. The past participle is going to be uh, the same, it's going to be started. Now, in the present, I have the verb itself, start. However, with he, she, and it, we're going to add s. But if you have a verb that ends with an x, just like fix, or in double S, just like kiss, or in SH, just like brush, or in CH, just like watch, or which ends with an O, just like go or do, for example, or a verb that ends with one S, you're going to add ES. So fix with he is going to be fixes, kiss is going to be kisses. Brush is going to be brushes, ES. Watch is going to be watches, ES. Go is going to be goes with ES. Please don't forget about this in the simple present tense, please. If you have a verb that ends with a Y, just like the verb to play, you have to go back to the, the, uh, the letter before the Y. Here before the Y, I have a vowel. So I only add an S with he, she, and it. However, if I have a verb just like try, or cry, or fly, before the Y, I have a consonant. So I have to omit the Y and to change it with I, E, S, with he, she, it. That was just to remind you, okay? Now let's go to the present participle. Here I'm going to talk about the verb itself, the main verb. Just like the verb to start is going to be starten. I'm going to add ing. Okay? With I, of course, I have to add the helping verb to be. It's going to be I am. Then you add the verb, then ing. I am starten. With he, she, and it, you're going to add the helping verb to be. It's going to be is. He is starten. She is starten. It is starten. With you, we, and they, you're going to add are, of course, the helping verb to be. You are starten. We are starten. They are start let's go to the past the verb to start is a weak verb it's gonna follow the rule okay so we're going to add ed simply as simple as that okay so it's gonna be started the past participle with have and has in the present perfect you're going to say i have started he has started she has started and so on in the past perfect you're going to use had i had started he had started and so on now let's go to a verb which is irregular, just like the verb to wear, okay? The present participle, you're going to add ing as usual, wearing. The past, you're not going to say weird, wrong. It's wore, w-o-r-e. And the past participle is worn. Don't ask me for a rule. You have to learn it by heart. Here note, the words is and have are included in the chart on the previous slide because present participle and past participle verb form requires helping verbs. I have said that. As you can see, 
from their names, the principal parts of the verb are used to express time, to tell us about the time, of course, whether it is present or past. She wears a blue uniform. You see, with she, you're going to add S in the present. Ray has worn his baseball cap. You see here, we have the helping verb has and the past participle, which is worn. Both of those are present time. Wears is the simple present, and has worn is the present perfect. Pay attention. The present perfect, it's called a present, but it's not a present. However, when you talk about the principal parts of a verb, it's a present tense. Okay? However, it's in the past, the present perfect. Now, the past time. Yesterday, we wore sweaters. They wore here, simple past of uh, to wear. And I had worn. Here we have the past perfect. So both are in the past time. Now let's move on here. We're going to face some problems. I'm going to start with hop. Hop is a verb that has by the end a consonant. Before it I have a vowel. And before that vowel I have a consonant. I have the rule. Consonant, vowel, consonant. So I have to double the last consonant before adding the ing and before adding the ed. It's going to be hopping and hopped. Just like stop, for example, it's going to be stopping and stopped. The other problem is a verb that ends already ends with an e. Just like to use. Use ends with, a, with an e. So when you add ed, are you going to add ed directly and it's going to be used? wrong i already have the e so i'm going to add only uh, the d with the ing you're going to omit the e then to add the ing use n now pay attention to teacher please play and try again in the present participle you're going to add the ing directly playing and trying with both it's not going to make any problem. However, in the simple past, if the verb has a Y by the end, and before that one you have a vowel, you're going directly to add ED. If the verb is like try, cry, or fly, it has a consonant before the Y, you're going to omit that Y and change it into IED. Played and tried. The same problem that we have faced with the S, plays and tries. I hope it's clear, my boys. Let's move on. Most regular verbs that end in E drop the E before adding ING. Of course, all of them. Some regular verbs double the final consonant before adding ING or ED. That's the consonant, vowel, consonant rule. Here, of course, you can see cause. I'm going to omit the E, then I'm going to add the ING. I'm going to omit the E, then I'm going to add ED. However, here I have drop. It has P as a consonant, O as a vowel, and R as a consonant. I'm going to double the last consonant before adding ING or adding ED. I hope it was clear enough. If you have any problem, please contact me on Classera or WhatsApp. Thank you so much and goodbye.